you couldn't have said it any better. And so many people get it wrong. I don't give a fuck, man. You can't, for me, I cannot help people. There's a, there's a lot of cookie cutter shit out here in this world. Oh, discipline, wake up early, take a cold shower, fuck this, fuck that, whatever. <laughs> it's all fucking bullshit. It's not. But what they don't teach you within the cookie cutter is like our minds are like a fucking garage. And the garage, you, if you open a garage and it's all cluttered up, it's all fucked up, you can't put your car in there. You got fucking boats and you got fucking kids' toys and shit everywhere. But if you organize that fucking garage and you put everything in its rightful spot, you can pull that car in there. You can put two cars in there. You can put bikes in there. And that's like with the mind. People talk about discipline and fucking determination and fucking, you know, repetitions and all this shit. Consistency. Why people fall off the wagon so often is because their mind is full of shit. There's no room in that mind for discipline. There's no room for consistency. They may do it once or twice, but then the mind takes over and that cluttered fucking garage comes in. And then it's like a circuit breaker, man. A circuit breaker just overloads and it fucking sparks. And our minds, that's, that's our mind, man. It's like a fucking circuit breaker that has so much shit in it. You keep unloading it. You can't put any more into it. So I've, I talk about it in there, man, so much about clearing space in your fucking mind so then you have room for all those discipline waking up early taking those because they, they they do mean something but we don't get to that fucking dark matter that is keeping you from clearing out that mental garage that's a good way to put it because that is the mind of most people is filled with stuff that they have to move around oh to get to God. what they want and it's constantly piling up and mm -hmm. there's shit unorganized and organized mind, man. You're looking at the fucking, I got to take care of the kids. The kids schedule is all fucked up. My husband, my, my wife, you know, I'm, I, I fucking, I'm going by McDonald's to get this and I, I'm rushing my schedule. Everything's just fucked. I wish I was doing this, but I'm you, doing that that's it. and that and this. And I want to raise, but I can't get one. That's it. My boss is an asshole. Where's greatness in that, man? Yeah. You can't, you, you can't fit discipline into that. You can't fit structure. You can't fit consistency. You can't fit the grind. And then when you try, it just gets fucking, it, it gets fucking overrun by the fucking clutter in your fucked up mental garage. When you are in these dark places and you're gathering up these lessons, how difficult is it to try to bring that back and convey it to people when you're not in that space? Like when you're in that space, when you're in the Moab 240 mm -hmm. and you're going uphill and you're in the middle of the, it's just deep suck. Right. How do you convey where that mental fortitude comes from? How do you bring that back? It's almost like you've got something you can't even hold in your hand right. and you want to show it to people. I take snapshots. So every time I'm in a bad situation, like, you know, I, I study it and that's the only reason I do have the shit I do is I'm studying this shit because I know that I never thought I was going to be writing books and trying to help people get better. But I'm, I was always trying to do it because I knew I sucked. And so when you know you're trying to get somewhere, you know you suck, you know that you, you believe that you're a born loser, you are taking snapshots, man. Like, you know, you, you see something on your phone, like, oh, man, I'm going to take a fucking snapshot of that or I'm gonna, how do you do the little picture shit so you can save it on your phone? I do that in my mind. So when I get in these moments where I'm like, fucking, okay, wow, that's some fucking good knowledge right there, man. I snapshot it because I know that I can use that later. I can, I, I can, I can use this because I'm not out there just, I'm not, most people, they go out and they run and they go out and they do, and they're like, oh, this is beautiful. Look at the fucking mountains and the shit and all this bullshit. No, I don't like it. My body hurts. I'm hurting. How do we get through this? And it's a fucking, it's a, it's, it's a lab. It's my mental lab. And, I, and so when I come home, I'm not forgetting it. And the second, like, every day I get done running or every day I get through work and every day I get through studying, whatever it is that brings me to that place of knowledge, I come home and, and that book was mostly written on a scratch piece of paper in hand. So I come home from, from running and I write everything out. I write everything out, all those things. And as I'm running, I'm talking about it. So all these things that pop in my head as I continue to run, I'm going through it. I'm, I'm starting to layer it down. I'm starting to break it down into, okay, that happened. Okay, now, now let's layer this. 
because that's just not how it happened. It just didn't happen that way. What led up to this? And so it becomes me by myself in school. I'm literally going to school right now and I'm learning. So when I come home, I write it out. And then I'm able to write out and I'm able to think about it and say, okay, oh, this is good shit. This, is, this will help me later on. And then it becomes what it is now. And when you try to convey it to people, what, what do you, th when, you, when you're writing it out and when you're talking about it, what are you thinking? Are you thinking that this is going to get into someone's mind and this is going to help them motivate themselves? Or are you just trying to express yourself and let them do with it what they can? I'm them. You're them. I'm them. I, and the fucked up thing about me, why I'm able to do it the way I'm able to do it, I'm not above them. I was never above them. A lot of people write where they are. Mm. They write where they are. Oh, yeah, like fucking you right now writing. You have a good life, man. You have a fucking good life. I don't write from that place. I write from the place that I am, the, 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 the place that created who I am. I go back to that place. I call it going back to scratch. I can't write about David Goggins. Now, David Goggins now is a success. People want to get to be, to feel whatever success is for them. They want to feel that. So I can't write it here at David Goggins Successful. I must write at David Goggins fucking man. I'm a fucking, I don't feel good about myself. And every day I go through that journey. So that's where it comes from. It comes from scratch. All that shit, all my knowledge comes from going back to where the real growth Growth doesn't happen. When you make it so far in life, you make it so high up, the, whatever it is, whatever you're trying to be, there's no more growth. There's small growth. But you remember back when you fucking tried to become Joe Rogan you are now. How much growth was in that? Tons of growth. Learning, lessons learned. So I go, I always revisit. That's why I'm a fucking wildland firefighter now. Why I'm a fucking smoke jumper. I don't need to do that shit at all. But I don't learn anything from where I'm at now. There's no knowledge up here. The knowledge is down there in the fucking muck. So that's where I write. That's where I go back. That's where I learn. I always go back to school. I always go back to the basics. I always go back to first grade. And how much of that is tied to doing things physically, though? There's like there's a there's a certain kind of physical struggle that you go through, particularly with what you excel at, which is endurance athlete work. When, when there's a mental and physical thing that happens when the two of them are together, that mm -hmm. doesn't happen in anything else. Like you can do hard work, hard mental work, and it's very difficult. And I'm sure you can learn a lot from that. Right. But it doesn't have the f physical pain that comes with the suck of endurance work. Yes. There's nothing, nothing in the world that you're able, I'm able to get, let's say I, that Moab 240 I was in. 62 hours. Fucking.